Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to RimWorld. When we last left off... Well, we've spent the last few episodes building, so I figured we might as well do some action. So I cut back in as we are, uh, you know, working on hacking this space drone. Uh, the plan here, I think... Oh, yeah, we also accepted that monument quest for some Glitter World medicine. It's, uh, it's really not what I was expecting. I was hoping for something a bit bigger that I could Because some of these designs for these little quests are actually, like, pretty neat. And I figured, oh, hey, I could use it as inspiration uh, to build, like, a fancy temple for our ideologian. Or possibly uh, for the death rest uh, uh, chamber for Katya. But... The world let me down, as it has done so many times before, and gave me a terribly shaped, uh, terribly shaped thing. Well, that's life, I guess. Who's raiding us? Pago, with grenades. Oh, he's a pig man, and I think he was snorting some drugs. Let's see here. He's actually got some pretty decent skills, but he is staggeringly ugly. Then again, just put him on the night shift so that no one, you know, has to look at him and... You know what? You can't do jack and squat. Because you can't throw, uh... Tell me you're not doing much damage to me. I mean, he is a pig man. So, if I take him as a prisoner... I mean, he's just a... He's just a pig man. Dang, he's uh, pretty durable. Are pigmen supposed to be durable? What are their... Let's see, can't really cook, hulking body, pig nose, trotter hands, messes with manipulation, robust digestion, I like it, nearsighted, interesting, strong immunity, reduced pain. You know, I did research xenogenetics, didn't I? I mean, I guess we could start uh, fiddling with genetics. So let, let's get a, a stronger source of power set up. Alright. Oh, cool. Unfortunately, he is dead. Alright, go ahead and tend to yourself. Wait, don't you have medicine? Or what, you want- why do you have corn in your inventory? Why? Alright, just patch yourself up. Good medical practice. Okay, that fox is eating this dead pig man. Oh, sweet, look at that, silver ore. Let us, uh, let's make sure we mine that. It's always good to have more silver. And I assume someone's coming along to haul this at some point. There we go, jolly good. Wait, what do you mean you still need medical treatment? You weren't using the Nutramine, or maybe I misclicked or something and wasn't really paying attention. It happens. Alright. Okay, uh, whoop. There's no spot to store the Nutramine. Good lord. Good lord! Uh... I thought I had this marked for only apparel, but apparently not. Uh, okay, well. I mean, I guess we don't have enough steel to warrant this being only steel. Oh, I have so much cleaning up to do here. Uh, let's allow components as well. And we can we can just squeeze some Nutramine in there. Okay, apparently I can't spell. All right, we'll haul that away, and then you know someone will. Oh God, no! The bushes. You hate to see it, but you know that's life, I guess. Oh, and and what is this? Broken down component. 
already. We literally just built this. Yeah, another thing I think mods do better is, uh, you know, maintaining stuff rather than, like, the constant random breakdowns. So annoying. But, you know, that's life. A lot of ducks. Though, I mean, they are producing a pretty steady amount of eggs. So, that may be okay. Uh, what do we know? 1.96. Okay, so this is actually insufficient for our our needs is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, you know, one of those things that really uh, makes me. Oh wait, I can grow my own grass in here. What am I talking about? I did add that mod. Yeah, again, one of those things. I personally feel that uh, mods do a little bit better. I mean, <clears throat> I think that's the one like non purely quality of life mod we're playing with in this in this uh, particular playthrough and it's just because I, I, I just can't anymore. I can't live without glorious glorious uh, Oh cool! Left control grab it. Oh that is so handy. I likes it. Did you know that was a feature? I Literally just found out that was a feature just now. I like it. Then we'll uh, do a little marble round, which means we're gonna need to make a lot more marble. Let's make sure we're harvesting all those marble. Oh god, what's happening? No, no, don't do it, Baskus, you fool. Though if no one goes in there, maybe they'll just pass out. That would be nice. Though I guess I could use this also as a way to uh, let someone with lower construction practice their construction. Is there anyone else we want? Yeah, Iris. We can have her work on her construction. You see? Everything works out. Okay, actually, uh, maybe get Koch in there. Iris, you fool! There's there's no time. All right. Well, that kind of works out. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. I don't really want to interrupt our our prime grower. Do I? Do I have any? I don't have any powers that could help in this situation. Dang. Oh my. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Alright, unfortunately, she's gonna be up for a while. Oh, good lord. Alright, well, that was uh, a mistake on my part. Uh, excuse me? Why, why can't I? Oh, because there's someone standing in the doorway? It's a silly thing. I mean, now, I don't want to be a cruel person who, like, removes her legs and arms so she can't fight. I'm not a monster. This Persona Sword is just gonna utterly murder. So, maybe we don't do that. But let's, uh, let's get in and, you know, try to help as best we can. Oh my god! Okay, maybe, maybe I should have done something there. Like, why are you so mad? I mean, I guess I can kind of, you know what, this should actually go over here so that it sort of evenly distributes between the two. There we go. 
All right. <clears throat> You'll be fine because you're you're not actually seriously bleeding out right now. Oh, for the love of all that is good and holy here, come on. Ah, boy. You know, life, it, it just... It could be easier. You know, at least we'll, we'll tend to her so she doesn't bleed out while we're rebuilding the door. There we go. Uh, go ahead and tend without medicine. She doesn't deserve medicine. After all the trouble she gave us. Uh, excuse me. Tend. Tend. What is going on here? Okay, yeah, I don't actually want you to use medicine on her. I, I may be being silly about this, but... I have my reasons. Also, uh, Baskus, you don't really need to sleep on the floor. Though I guess we did put her there. You know, you can just lie on the floor until you get better. Or until someone, you know, comes along and does something. Whichever happens first. It's terribly frustrated by that. Terribly, terribly frustrated. Go ahead and equip your revolver and then, you know, maybe, uh, clean the dirt in your room and then go back to bed. A and clean your blood. You know, it's always important to have a nice, clean room. You know, it makes you feel better about yourself. Or so they say. Alright, yeah, we, we got lots of, lots of cloth lying around here. Let's, uh, get everything, uh, you know, at least so we can get all this stuff off the floor. Yeah, just kind of, we'll try to haul as much of this stuff in as we can, and then we'll... Then we'll let everyone get back to, you know, what they're doing. Alright. Yeah, just deliver... Deliver all that sweet, sweet... Uh, carpet. Good, 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 good. Alright, so things are, things are coming along. That's, uh, that's what you like to see in these situations. Alright, maybe, uh... Let Iris do some of the work for a bit. Though I think her... Her level of construction is not sufficient for me to feel comfortable with her actually doing the work. Maybe I could get her to do part of the work and then, you know, Kachi can come in later and... And, like, actually finish it off. Something like that. Oh, God. You know, don't be a fool, guess. Like, don't, uh... There we go. That would have been embarrassing. Big waste of cloth. I don't think we're... Oh, I don't think we're gonna do anything with this on this run. Then again, I've never done anything with the Dryads, and I feel kind of bad about that. Okay. We do need our Just Academic. Yeah, look how, look how slow she's working at putting this together. Kacha's, uh... But then again, it is good experience. And that's, you know, that's kind of important. But I don't want, I don't want her to, to ruin it by accident. So, what I intend to do, yeah, is just kind of let her, let her mostly work on it, but then we'll let uh, Katja, who's the actual professional crafter, do the finishing uh, touches. I think that makes a certain amount of sense, because then Iris still gets her experience, and we minimize 
the likelihood of problems. What, what's going on over here? You'll be- oh god. Wait, are you- what's going on here? You have no clothes. No wonder you're upset. Oh, also I don't have this, uh, this switch on. No wonder it's so cold in there. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I got distracted. That was precisely what I was trying to avoid. Uh, let, let's just haul some more uh, pieces in here. Okay, I should probably also let Iris have a break. She is getting a little, uh, little upset. Yeah, she's in, she's got her own stuff going on. You gotta you gotta give people time. All right, so overall stuff's coming together there. Oh my goodness, look at look at that. God, we have so many limestone blocks. So I guess I should start making buildings out of limestone. I don't really want to, but... Well, I guess we could make floors out of limestone. Like in here. Have a nice, uh, fine limestone tile. Yeah. Though, you know, I guess I could... Uh, I could have cleared some of this out to make, like, a, a more squared room and then... Uh, extend the walls on this side, but you know what? This will this will be fine. Uh, what kind of design am I really going for here? A little more in the middle, and then the rest could be carpet or something. I don't know. I I kind of like it. And as for this, what's our? What else do we have a lot of walls on? Could build it out of sandstone. Could just build it out of limestone. Then I I don't feel so bad about it. All right, that yeah that works out. I might actually just tear this down when I'm done with it. Now one of those things where I guess actually what I could do to keep uh, keep Baskas in line is if I just blood feed on her until she can't walk. Which is also kind of sadistic and cruel, but it's less sadistic and cruel than just tearing her arms and legs off. Which is a common strategy I seem to see people use with their prisoners. Or at least I read about it. You know, though I, I have to imagine that, um, you know, some of the stories you read about what people do in RimWorld are over-exaggerated. I mean, like, how many people actually run, like, you know, cannibal organ farms? You know, it's a, it's a thing people like to laugh about, but I bet it doesn't happen all that often. Maybe it does. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah. We'll, we'll do what we can. And, and look at this, these rooms are coming along nicely, sort of. I mean, they're still... They're still not great. Only somewhat, really? Really? Only somewhat spacious? I, I've got to say, I sometimes think uh, RimWorld's, like, vanilla sense of size and scale is a little, uh, little wonky. But, you know, that's just like my opinion, man, and doesn't necessarily reflect objective reality. Alright. I am looking forward to, you know, swapping uh, spots here. Hmm. What else can we grow? Let's see here. I mean, we're eventually probably going to need a lot more food. Especially if we want to make fine or even lavish meals for our colonists. Uh, let's see. I mean, smoke leaf, that's that's something. Uh, Devil Strand, eventually, when we can grow that. 
And once again, you know, I just, uh, I love RimWorld's music. You know, it's kind of tempting to have a boomalope pen somewhere in here as well. Hello. Oh, Petronella's sister. Isn't that lovely? Incidentally, did uh, anyone ever actually haul these uh, components away? They did. Good. That's what you like to see. You know, it wouldn't be a bad idea having some boomalopes. Though I might, if I was going to put them in a pen, it would probably be, you know, somewhere over here. Yeah. Uh, where, where's the actual trader guy? Oh, there they are. You know, this works out. Okay, let's get rid of uh, some of these excess weapons we've got just lying around. Don't really need them. Uh, what do we want? Probably some medicine. It's always good to have some medicine on hand. I mean, I could just make one of these, I think. Susceptible, weak immunity, strong melee damage. Don't really want that. Oh boy. What are we, 14 episodes in? Haven't even touched the genetic engineering yet. This troubles me in some ways. But in other ways, it's really not that big a deal, I guess. Yeah, you know, we're still, uh, we're still doing stuff. Still just having a good time. I think. I'm having a good time anyway. Hopefully, uh, you guys are as well. Yeah. Actually, maybe I should just... Just make this a free-wide, uh, street. Yeah, the main promenade through town. You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. We'll kind of keep uh, this as is. Though I guess I could extend these rooms, make them one wider. Uh, oh, go ahead and haul this. I, I should have a, a meditation spot closer to our actual base rather than having Katya meditating over here. Especially because I don't think it actually benefits her in any way. You know what? In fact, with that in mind, I am going to get rid of these. Just, uh... What meditation types do you have, anyway? Artistic. Okay, so we need an art installation somewhere. What is storing here? Oh yeah, this is cloth. So we've actually pretty much used up all the cloth. Wonderful. And, you know, it, it works out. Piece by piece, everything's coming together. Even if it takes a little while. You know, I, I hope Morgan ends up... I guess he could actually uh, have a relationship with Katya. I mean, they like each other. The secret of Wolfie, huh? 27-year-old sheriff begging to join us. Some kind of Fred is following her. I don't know. You won't tell us your skills. But what if you're, uh... Or wait, did it, did it say she was a sheriff? I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to bring anyone else in right now. I mean, I know I've been going on for a while about how we need more, more help doing stuff, but... But I, I just don't know. We'll let Iris have this room. Of course, I guess we, we do have, we do have the room. Ah, what the heck, we'll do it. All right, Wolfie, welcome to the colony. Though I guess I, I should probably start seriously working on our defenses, because it's been a while since the storyteller has sent us a, uh, a fret. Oh my. Though, 
I've said it before, Pyromaniacs, they're not that terrible to manage. Then again, the only thing you're really... Well, then again, the only thing you're really good at is shooting and then punching stuff. So, with that in mind, if I can find that ever chain shotgun that's apparently lying around here somewhere. Then, I could have you be a primary hunter. Yeah, you could be a hunter hauler. You're not like super terrible at these things, but I don't really want you doing them. Yeah, something, something like that, and then I could probably uh, lower the cleaning responsibility for a couple more people. Maybe Iris. Yeah, Morgan and Wolfie will be higher priority cleaners. There we go. All right. I don't, I don't think in vanilla there's anything I can do about a pyromaniac though, is there? Well, well, we'll see. If she becomes a problem, we can always deal with her. But, uh, you know, we'll we'll try to be good citizens for the time being. I I really need to get a leg. Actually, I can just install a peg leg, can I? Uh, make sure we install it in the right leg. Left leg. Because that'll uh, slightly improve her, her movement ability. I hope some colonists start uh, pairing off just to, you know, save me some bedrooms. Who's our best medic? That would be Morgan. Oh. Okay, I mean, I guess, I guess that's alright. Oh boy. What a world, huh? Oh, wait, let's check out the... Oh, no, I can't check out mobility now because you've been anes anesthetized. So it won't be accurate. Okay, but we were successful, so at least you have a peg leg now. Um, and we'll, we'll keep it like that until we eventually get, you know, something more appropriate. We're getting places. People's rooms are nice. It's also time to leave. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I'll see all you in the next video.